And, oh no! Okay, so like, <laughs> we got one face in each direction. Oh my god! <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out a brand new spanking car mod for Beam NG Drive. It goes by the name of the Gavril Vertex in a two and I gotta say uh, this mod probably has the most variation I've ever seen 80 variants in total I mean look at this it is insane how much work went into this thing so I'm excited to check this thing out now there's no way uh, that we're gonna be able to check out every single variant so we might actually uh, need to make a part two uh, to this video, but in this one, I'm just gonna check out the ones that really uh, Speak to me the most that look the most interesting to me But if I don't get to one uh, just know we'll check it out in the next episode So first uh, I kind of want to try should we just go for straight to something absolutely insane here? Because I mean look at this the fidget spinner <laughs> Hold on. I got okay. I, I just gotta try this out. I think I know what this is about to be um, I'm guessing that this is probably gonna be the car and then with one Jado rocket on the side. Oh no! Okay, so like <laughs> we got one face in each direction. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, I would say that's a <laughs> pretty pretty good fidget spinner. Oh my Jesus. It just rips the car apart. It just completely rips it apart. <laughs> Can I steer this thing? Oh! And then we just rip, wrap it around a, a pole anyway. <laughs> Hold on. Let's keep it spinning. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Do you hear the sound this is making right now? Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna stop doing that because uh, I feel like if I keep doing that, that would have fried my computer to a crisp. All right, let's spawn one up where we can actually check out the car uh, itself. So we got, a, I'm guessing we have an electric version here. Save the environment the E-Drive trim was introduced. You can see the name uh, is referencing. So yeah, I guess this is an electric. Let's try it out. Oh, also it's the P100D, which is a uh, Tesla reference, if you didn't know. So I imagine this one's going to be pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. There's the, the, uh, the, the engines right there, the electric engine. This one's pretty quick. Oh, God. <laughs> that electric power, baby, 140 miles an hour. Bad landing on that one, but uh, <laughs> I could have sworn I still saw uh, gasoline fall out of this thing. By the way, uh, this car has some pretty insane details on the inside as well. If we pull over the controls here, uh, you'll see stuff like past song. Is there like... Can you add songs to this? <laughs> the radio in here? Hold on. Uh, let's see. Control R. Is that going to do anything? Or how does that... You might have to put songs... Oh. Okay, that reset the car. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Oh my god. <laughs> this car is a working radio. Hold on, can I turn it up? Uh, it looks like control H. Oh, okay, I'm at max volume. So I can turn it down as well. Wow! This is cool, man! And also, we can turn on, uh, some lights in here as well. We got the dome light here. Uh, we got some ambient lighting. Uh, control 2. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, so now we can just drive. Like so in our electric Gavril Vertex here. It's kind of soothing though, not gonna lie. Here, hold on, let's see if we have any, uh... Any other songs here, so we, we gotta control M. Now playing... What are we playing here? Credits theme? I hope these aren't copyrighted. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think there's only the two songs, but that's still pretty freaking cool, man. I wonder if you can add songs in there because I don't know. I think that would be uh, pretty cool to have like your own playlist specific to this car. Can you like 
link it to Spotify or something. That'd be pretty freaking cool. This is insane, by the way, this car. And I've st what have I checked out two versions of this thing? And there's almost 180. So let's try out another one here. There's also some YouTuber specific ones uh, down here as well. We have the uh, Shinyad and the Fail Race and even a Spears Dragster here. No neological one, at least not that I can tell. Uh, dude, if you're watching though, I would definitely love to see that. We even have a Dio Volante spec, if anybody remembers that. Uh, Dio Volante DNA implanted into, uh, you know, the car that goes Mach 8.6. We haven't checked that out in a while. We probably should. It can reach Mach 1, which is <laughs> just insane. We'll have to check that out for sure. We have a car made out of solid gold, uh, so it's heavy. And we actually have some secret ones down here, like the meme. What is the meme? <laughs> <laughs> just have a bunch of uh, beam and G memes. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Thanos car. I see a spooter. Oh no. That's just. That's just not right, man. We have cat ears as well. I see a PewDiePie. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Can you even see through this thing? Yeah, I guess you can. The cat ears are, are really what's throwing me for a loop here. I do not like that at all. <laughs> so let's just crash this thing into the wall. Yes, where it deserves to be. That's that's what you deserve to have happen to you. <laughs> Meme car, get out of here, dude. All right, so I definitely want to try out the Ram Plow with Jado. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to need to add some traffic. Uh, if we're gonna be driving this thing around so let's spawn this up spawn up some traffic as well and just let all hell break loose Shall we all right here we go. They're all lined up. Let's try it out. Oh Yeah, yes. Oh god. Oh god <laughs> It's actually not too uh, not too uh, bad to control. I thought it was gonna be an absolute pain But uh, yeah, you could cause some havoc with it. Oh, never mind. Oh, we just wrecked ourselves there. Oh no! <laughs> Hold on. Look at this thing turn it again. I think the I think the I think the plow is just too big. We need like a smaller one uh, for this particular car because it's kind of uh, making the front of our car a little bit hard uh, to maneuver here. All right, let's hit this guy. Full speed ahead. Yeah. Bye bye. Just now landed. Oh no. Oh, we got an SBR. Yeah. Get out of here. I can't drive this thing. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, that's cool in concept. Doesn't exactly work uh, IRL as good as I would want, but it's still, uh, still pretty cool. The Bozo Zuka V8. Silly bottom body modifications are my specialty. It has all the Bozo parts you'd expect. All right, let's check this out. It looks the body kit on this thing looks absolutely ridiculous from the thumbnails. What the heck, man? What are those, dude? <laughs> And there's like a solid two feet oh, on the on the body there. That is disgusting, but I kind of like it at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> it's, and it's stanced, of course. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. A little hard to control. Oh, it happens. It happens. We got the orange, the orange tires as well, or the orange wheels. Very strange choice, and it's all, it's a Thanos car as well. It's just bright freaking purple. I would sit this guy. Uh, oh god, this thing is slow, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Not my favorite. I mean, it's pretty funny looking though. But yeah, the, how did the, how long did this take you to make all of these different variations of this car, man? This is ridiculous. Look at all these, and they're all highly detailed. They even have like detailed descriptions. How about the fast donk? <laughs> sure. I don't know who's barking at me. All right, let's try this one. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, not my style. Wouldn't drive this in real life, but you know, I respect the drip. I respect it. All right, and it's pretty quick as well. <laughs> Although just turning uh, can pop your tires. Uh, today we learned we learned and there's a weird sound coming out of this thing just a little bit. There we go Get it some speed here. Yeah <laughs> I'm not having very good luck at driving today. All right uh, on that note. Let's get something very fast here very very fast
All right, how about the uh, the drag? Just a straight up drag car. Let's try it out. Woo! Oh boy! Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's fast. Let's get. We're gonna go up this hill in lightning fast time here. Oh! Gotta watch out for traffic, of course. Yeah, God! <laughs> I'm surprised I lasted that long. Oh my God! Hey, we're still alive. Uh, I guess we can go down. Let's get some some speed here and launch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for a drag car, it's not insanely fast, but you know, it's a it's a serviceable uh, a drag car. That's for sure. All right, let's respawn here. What else? Do, is there any off-road ones here? I imagine there's got to be if there's 80 freaking variants. Uh, we, oh, my God. We have a T-Series engine swap. Yes. Now, that's what I'm talking about, friends. If you haven't seen one of these before, it, they're basically just <laughs> all sorts of ridiculous. I think we have the horn as well. Yep. Yes, we do. Is it fast, though? That's the question. Can I even see through? I can't even see. <laughs> Barely can see with that just massive, massive engine. Oh my goodness. It's actually uh, controlling pretty well. It's definitely a little heavy in the front, but you know, that's uh, that's understandable. <laughs> For sure, understandable. Oh, it just melts the car uh, when we drive head first. Who would have thought? What else we got here? We got a uh, taxi turbo, taxi turbo with the ad on it. The general yeet can survive any jump without major damage. That's pretty cool. That's actually uh, nice to have. We have a raid ma or rad max uh, comes from a place where trucks have tons of armor. Not having a weirdly scrambled together vehicle is weird <laughs> is rare. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty cool. We got a one that flies. It has wings and goes speed. Okay, maybe it doesn't fly, but I'm guessing that goes fast. We got some rally cars. Okay, so those look, look pretty good. The Power Demon? One only for tough girls and boys. It just screams power. The engine sticks out of the bonnet uh, to let your opponents know that you're, they're in serious trouble. With Nos, it throws a staggering 1,001 horsepowers onto the road. Wow. Okay, yeah, that is pretty nutty. But what about the Verticorn? <laughs> this is a con cubes, insane dr con cubes, really, uh, insane uh, drift vehicle, custom tuned by Innocent Customs. It has a twin charge, sixteen hundred horsepower V8 power plant and all-wheel drive welded diffs. It's perfect for you want to do mad skids, even if you're not good drifter. Thanks to the. Uh, all wheel drive. So it's like the Hoonicorn, basically. Okay, that's pretty. I'll try that one out. That sounds cool, man. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, seriously. It crashed in two seconds in. All right, just pretend that didn't happen. All right, here we go. Oh, this is nutty. This is nutty. All right, let's get, let's get this thing a skid in here. Yes, sir. And let's shin it around the corner. Ugh. Why did you have to be there, dude? I'm just trying to do some sick drifts, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. 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 I need more open road. I definitely need more open road because this thing is a little wor or squirrely. It's a little, it's a little wild. That's for sure. There we go. There we go. I got it now. I got it now. And around the corner, don't hit the curb. I hit the curb, but it's okay. Yeah, I didn't need that wing anyway. Oh! <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Um, you guys get the picture. All right, so I kind of want to try uh, the Dio Volante edition, but I feel like we're probably not going to get up to the high speed on this particular map. So let's just go to the endless grid map here just to see how fast we can go. It says it'll go Mach 1. So I'm I'm trying to try that. All righty, here we go with the Dio Volante edition of this Gabriel. What is this thing called? Something crazy, I don't know. Um, so it did have a little blurb about how to get this thing to its top speed. I wanna go ahead and read that real quick here. Uh, where is this thing? Uh, there it is, okay. so. Um, remove the trunk 
Uh, you may need to wiggle a bit at high speed to bring it above Mach 1 airspeed. Okay. Uh, so I guess... Does it want me to remove the trunk right now or um, while I'm going Mach 1? I don't know. I'm just going to do it now. So let's get this off. There we go. And uh, let's see how fast we can go, brothers. Yes, sir. Should I turn on the NOS as well? I don't know. That might blow the engine. Let's do it anyway, though. <laughs> oh, yes. 300 miles an hour. 314. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're skidding. We're skidding. I might need to turn on the airspeed app just to make sure because this thing is notoriously not very accurate. Uh, so let's go down to the apps here. Uh, let's add airspeed. Hold on. Air. Oh, I can't type air. No, I still can't type. What am I doing? Airspeed. There we go. Digital air speedometer. Um, where is it? There it is. In a weird spot. We'll put that right down there. Let's see how fast we're actually going here. Oh, it is pretty accurate. Okay. <laughs> So do I just have to wait a while? I mean, we're, it's pretty crazy that we're already going 300 miles an hour in this thing. But can we get it up to Mach 1, 700? I don't know. I think I can't keep this thing straight long enough. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, no. No. Well, you hate to see it. You really do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as we skid off into the distance here, uh, I think I'm going to take the time to end the video here. Uh, definitely going to be a part two because there's a lot more crazy in this mod. So be on the lookout for that. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself. <laughs> but, yeah, that'll about do it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. Perfect timing.